Hey guys, so I wanted to go ahead and film a video with all my decluttered eyeshadow palettes because some of you have been requesting to see them a little bit closer and so I figured what a better way to do it than just show them in a video and this way if you want any of them you guys know what state they're in you know you actually see it in the video it's much better than the picture so I decided to just go ahead and basically just open each palette and show you what it looks like inside and tell you whether I used it or not this way you guys can kind of decide for yourself whether you want it or not okay i was just reading some of the dms that i received on instagram from you guys and a lot of you are interested in ColourPop palettes for sure so it's going to be really hard to kind of decide who they're going to go to because a lot of the messages came in at the same time but i figured i'm just going to go by who sent it to me first and then i'll just kind of keep the other people in mind just in case the deal falls through, I'll go ahead and reach out to uh, you guys, you know, just let you know whether I still have it and if you would still like it. Okay, well, yeah, let me show you what it looks like on my desk right here. It's just a little bit of a mess because palettes are everywhere. I just didn't know what the better way to do it is. So I figured, oh, I'm just going to dump it all out. And then I'm going to bring like a bin and as I'm showing these to you guys, I'm just going to go ahead and put them back in a bin. Okay, so I'm going to start with this Lorac Venice Beach palette. That's what it looks like inside. Lime Crime palette and this is the plushies. So it's completely untouched, brand new, still has a protective film on it. Okay, and so in here you guys are going to see some of the palettes that I decluttered last time because like they did not sell. I ended up just keeping them and I figured I'll include them in this video just in case some of you are still interested in, in the ones that I still have. Okay, so we have ju just Makeup Geek empty palette with a mirror and to go with that, I don't know if it'll fit, but I have a whole bunch of these single eyeshadows. I wonder if they'd fit. I don't want to take them out of the packaging though. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I have a lot. I believe it was like a full set or something like that. If they're still in the packaging, brand new. I feel like there's more. Okay, here you go, right here, and this one, and then this one. Okay, I still have this Makeup Forever palette that I decluttered last time. This is the Artist Show 4, and again, it's a brand new palette, you guys. Oh, I actually really like it for myself. Oh, God. It's very nice. Huh. Well, if I don't sell it, I'm just going to keep it for myself because it's actually a really nice palette. I kind of see that my taste changes from year to year and some of the palettes that I was like in love with, I'm not anymore. And then others that I decluttered that I was like, oh, I'm never going to use that. Now I'm kind of looking at it and seeing it from a different kind of side. So that, oh, actually... Oh my god, you guys, I just realized this is not all of the palettes. I have a full box of the palettes that I just decluttered. Because I'm like, I don't see the ones that I just decluttered. There's not a lot of them. All right, now we have Zuewa Artista palette. It is still in its, like, you know, cart carton packaging. And then it's completely new. It has a protective film. It's actually a really nice palette again hmm yeah i don't know i guess today i'm in a mood where i want to keep everything then we have the teddy boy by butter london completely new i don't know where the protective film went to actually no i just watch i think i only swatched this color right here but other than that it is untouched the ace beauty and this is the bronzed in paradise that's like a all right and uh yeah color pop people are like really interested in so this one i believe i used once 
This is the Dabble in Tangerine. This Lime Crime palette. Let's see. Right here. Super pretty also. I also have the Kristen, Kristen Leanne palette. Um, this is kind of what it has on the inside. It's completely new. I believe it's not even sold anymore. Okay, and then the rest of it is actually from my last declutter. So I'm going to quickly show it to you guys. This is by the brand Bad Habit, I think. Yes. So they kind of try to mimic all the popular brands, the high-end brands. And to be honest with you, they do a really good deal. I actually filmed a video where I show, uh, I compare Natasha Denona to one of the Bad Habit palettes. And honestly, you cannot tell the difference. So I'm going to link that video down below just in case you guys are interested in to see. This is the R Artistry palette by, again, Bad Habit. Yes. Uh, it kind of looks messy, but that's because it got damaged during shipment. Um, other than that, I honestly did not touch it. It's a really, really pretty palette. I might, honestly. If nobody buys it, I'll probably put it back in my drawer. All right. It's almost like shop my stash, you guys. <laughs> kind of forgot. Okay. Saffron palette by Sua Beauty. Okay, untouched. It had the protective film that just fell on the floor and I don't want to put it back because it touched the floor. So, okay, hip dot. Oh, again, oh no, it didn't touch the floor. It just, I caught it. Yeah, the, sh the shadows look much lighter for some reason on camera because in reality, they're darker. So yeah, my camera is making everything look lighter. So I just move the light away just so we can get a little bit of a better picture you guys okay we have the Ciate the editor palette very pretty most of it is shimmer I actually have a few of these velour lashes that I declared last time in case you guys are interested I just figured I'm gonna include them in here then we have the it cosmetics naturally pretty must have so it's a cute little travel palette I think I used it maybe twice no I actually used this one a lot so this one's a little bit more used as you can see it actually has a divot it's really really nice too again another palette that I'll probably put it back in my stash if nobody wants it okay then we have the new Bian by Juvia. Once. Used it once. Just a few shades in there. Meet Matt Adore. Okay, this is kind of my weakness here because I know already that I might want it back. Um, so, it's completely new. Again, if nobody wants it, I'll, I'll put it back because it's actually a really nice palette. All right, and then we have the BoxyCharm Pure Cosmetics. Also got damaged in the shipping. I actually did a tutorial with this one, so I'm gonna include that down below also. And um, yeah, it's that one. And then, ooh, another oldie but goodie. This is Too Faced Chocolate Bar. Oh, I remember I used to love it. As you can see, I really like this shade right here and this shade. Man, I might want to put it back. Look at that purple. It's so pretty, you guys. Same thing. Man, I feel like I'm going to put everything back. Okay. Stay Natural. This is by Lorella. OMG, how gorgeous is this, you guys? I might have swatched, yeah, I swatched maybe three or four shades in here. Other than that, it's a brand new palette with gorgeous shades, so. And there's a wave of matte. Uh, we have the Pat McGrath, that like celebratory palette, still in this Ziploc bag or bag unopened. Then we have the Artistry palette again. Didn't we just, you see it? 
Is that the same one? This is by Bat Habit again. No, it's a different one. Oh my God. I remember I was hunting for this one. I really, really wanted it. And all I did is just swatch it like this color and this color. And then somehow I got these two dots on the other shades, but I don't know what happened there. But it is the Amrazi palette, you guys. Man, it's so, so pretty. Again, if nobody wants it, I might just put it back in my stash. I hope you guys want it because I really don't have space to put it back in my stash. But I just feel like if it's going to lay there, I'm just going to reach for it and put it back. Okay, the highlight kit by Bad Habit again. And then we have the Natural by All Clan. This is another company that kind of mimics all the high-end ones. I believe this one's mimicking the Balm Cosmetics palette. I have this Ofra Cosmetics blush, blush bronzer, color blush stripes. Oh, I mean coral blush stripes. Then we have the Stila Eyes are the window. This is to the body. And that's what it looks like. I had, had a little damage here during shipping, I think. We have more lashes, you guys. This is by Lova Lashes. Lava, sorry. Not Lova. Lava Lashes. We also have this NARS blush. And this is in New Attitude. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Nope. Not upside down. Okay. Nice and bright pink, like baby pink, I think. And then we have this Meet Matte Nude again. Okay, this one I just, like honestly, just swatched or might have used it once. Just some of the shades. All right, oh, the Miss Myth Mythos by Bad Habit. OMG, you guys. This is another one that I really wanted. And... I haven't touched it. This one definitely mimics or dupes, tries to dupe uh, Pat McGrath one. I don't know which one though. And then we have the Crystal Palace by Bad Habit again. Oh, this is the highlight palette. And I found two more of the Color Ain't Shadows again. Oh, Elf. I think this is um, brown or oh, highlighter palette. What is that? Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighting Duo. Okay. It honestly looks like eyeshadows more than highlighter to me. Smashbox Cover Shot Neutral Eyeshadow Palette. Alright guys, so I brought this case with all of the other eyeshadow palettes. I closed the ring. And these are the ones that I decluttered this time. Essence, spice up your life. It's like double sided, brand new. This is Tarte Adelaine More Morin. Brand new. Urban Decay Born to Run brand new you guys oh this is a gorgeous palette this one looks like i swatched it but i don't remember or maybe i swatched it i might have swatched it okay so pretty zoewa caramel melange melange oh no i lost the protective film again but it's brand new oh boy okay Color Drain again. Lovelies. Oh, this is such a cute name. New with a protective film that is getting stuck in there. Okay, got it. Oh, this is a cute one. The Minky Locks. And this is a Cashmere Kitten. Oh, God. Did I? Hmm, yeah, I got into it a little bit right here. Other than that, it's brand new. And very pretty. Yeah, if nobody wants it, I might get it back. And then this one is the Smoke Show by Colored Rain. Also very pretty. 
And then there's the Winky Locks. I don't know why the packaging is a little dirty, but this is the Mermaid Kitten. It looks like another palette got onto it, like another eyeshadow. Oh, I should, I should show you guys what it looks like inside. Okay. The Light Beam by Urban Decay. Actually really pretty too. Laura Geller. Iconic New York Collection, Downtown Cool Eyeshadows. The Vegas Lights by, this is by Makeup Geek. It's actually a really good quality palette. And that one is Jean, Jen Nude Floor Utopia by Bare Minerals. No, no, why, why am I having difficulty finding out which way to open it? So funny. Okay, doc. I have a few more to show you, and then we are gonna be down here. The natural eyeshadow palette by Auckland. Woo! God, because I'm sitting at a really weird angle behind the camera, so it's really hard to show it to you guys. I don't know if I swatched it or if it's just kind of like an artifact, but it's other than that, it's brand new. And the Japanese. I did use it twice, probably. It's actually a really high quality palette too. And Buxom. Wow, this is so pretty, you guys. It's all mattes. The name of it is Suit Seduction. And it is gorgeous. So uh, nobody's gonna claim it. I'm gonna put it back in my drawer. Finally, the highlighter by Prolux. Oh, it's close. So rose gold is the shade. It's a little bit darker. Phew. I did it, you guys. I showed you. Oh, no. Nope. There's one more palette. No, there's two more palettes. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so we have the Warrior by Juvia's. Brand new, not touched. And then we have the Flirty Friday by Laura Geller. Also brand new. And this one is, yeah, this is Laura Geller. Now we're done. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have the most wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.